Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Arsenal FC's Road to Redemption series. This is Freestyle. We're coming off a string of games where we did go undefeated. I think it was four wins and two draws in the last six games. But they were extremely frustrating games, to say the least. I, I lost my patience, started playing sloppy. It, it just it was not a good sight. We also got a few transfer requests from teams for a few of my players, which I declined. I didn't feel any of the transfers were a step up for the players, so I declined them all. If we get a better offer for somebody, we'll have to reconsider and probably let them go. What we have coming up ahead of us, however, is a game against Hull City and a game against Ipswich before the end of the transfer window. Those two games will be followed by a scouting report on February 1st, which hopefully will yield a better result than the last few ones have. Before I continue, just want to say that this episode of Arsenal FC's Road to Redemption is brought to you by none other than coffee. Freshly brewed French press coffee. A little too hot, burnt my tongue. Damn. Here we are at beautiful Emirates Stadium, unfortunately, in the rain, which I know, well, again, surprising. Tyler. Nonetheless, the top scorers home game against Arsenal. Hull City. Let's get them. In this division, they've been really good, really potent in front of goal. You'll need to take Ten it. Niles, hopefully. Two excellent there defenses. we go. Back to Nketiah. Bang. Yes. There we go. That's Nketiah's 13th goal. goal. Crazy enough, that's made the Niles' ninth assist, and majority of that has come since his move to the center midfield position. This is where most lead. games for me lately have gone downhill. <laughs> Let's see if we can just keep this kind of momentum going. Go Saka, not that way. Oh, I want it. Arsenal's turn now to get at the opposition. Up to the Niles box. in the corner. Oof. Jenkinson finds Emil Smith Rowe, who finds Bielik. Who that took his shot. time, the but to get he got kicked that dude in the face. Deflected shot. We're not going to let them get a chance to get back in this game. I'm saying that. I'm telling you. I mean, I just cursed it, obviously, but the goal is to not let them get it back in the game. Hall City trying to break down Arsenal's pressure here. Might get it, but I think Jenkins is going to get there first. Yes, he is. That's not what I wanted, but that's okay. Up to Jenkinson. Uh, Nkete finds Emil Smith Rowe, who gives it back to Nkete, who fires it from long range. I probably should have taken my time. I think I could have had Saka. I was, I thought he was offside. That's what I was worried about. Emil Smith Rowe to Bukaya Saka, who puts a cross in. Oh, short the corner this time. Short corner. Put in from the wide area. Great goalkeeper. Great Carl save. Jenkinson Ray with a beautiful a volley so agile, doesn't get it. That's the second, second here. or third amazing volley Carl Jenkinson has had, and the goalkeeper has been brilliant in saving it. Mind you, it was a direct shot at the goalie, but still. How many times have you seen the goalie dive out of the way of the ball? Trying short to corner the again. Out with a short corner. To Jenkinson with the header. Simple save, David Marshall. Carl Jenkinson really trying to get his goal. <laughs> oh, nice pass. Jenkinson needing to get back on D. And he does the job. Testing oh. his control now. I hate when they do that. When they like Looking push me down. In the middle. We're not gonna let them get a chance to get back in this game. I'm saying that. Great cross. Great volley. See? Went right at the goalie, but he my guy goes this way. Misses it. 10 seconds ago I said that sometimes the goalie goes the wrong way like Matt Macy did and <laughs> I predicted the future there I predicted the future there so alright haven't go. had a That's clean sheet all. in 6 games this is really annoying me this is Campbell. oh boy Guiding I got a yellow card on this side I gotta be careful Gets his cross in. oof Niles to Jenkinson to Emil Smith Rowe who finds Reese Nelson who crosses it for Saka? Oh, diving header! No changes for this half. We're going same starting 11. Let's go, boys. Let's clear this ball out. Goalie catch that. No, hey, yo, come on. That is really nonsense. 
He's got support here. The shot's on. That's nonsense, man. Come on. We both know the goalie catches the that ball. The crowd sensing momentum oh, here. Yeah. See their team make yeah. The most of sense it. momentum. I sense the AI is going to score a goal here. Corner played in. Defended well. Look at the sustained pressure that Hull has put on. I haven't had the ball Resistance since the half started. Good defensive clearance there. Of course, that's what's going to happen there. Why would I be able to control that Just ball at all? Of this, of Still AFL haven't had possession of the ball in the second half. Arsenal. All right, Jack Arsenal's Richter. first actual possession in the second half. On the Hull horizon. The Hitting Reese Nelson. Who gets double teamed. A reasonable price for there we go. Of his that's a good run now. Time to get the ball in. Tim Let's see if Super Sub for Yoinson can make a can make a difference in this game. To Saka. To Davies. Who finds Nelson? Short corner. To Jenkinson. Off the post. On a volley. I cannot catch a break on those volleys. I was offside. I can't catch really a break on those volleys. That's the right second great volley by right Carl Jenkinson that hasn't gone in the net. And Katia. To Davies. To Freyansen. To Reese Nelson. To take the lead. Back of the net. There we go. Super sub Freyansen with a beautiful pass to Reese Nelson who makes. No mistake this time. To the build -up, Alan. Look at that. And One touch passing. Now we got to make sure Hull City doesn't get another cheap goal. Game. Arsenal trying to keep Hull in their own half here and don't succeed. <laughs> okay, Arsenal, they? It's hilarious. Every time I say it, bag, out wide, Bramble with, with the yellow trying to be careful. Nice punch out by Macy. But. Paul wins it back. Ooh. All right. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to keep this ball because we won the game. Let's just play out the whistle. 2 1 win against Hall City. Very close, tight game. Give it to Hall City. And Stoke and Leeds haven't played yet, so let's see what happens to that. Looks like Stoke City beat Leeds. So now Stoke and Arsenal are tied for first on top of the table with 60 points each. Oh, man. Oh man, what I've been dreading. Here's a transfer offer for Maitland Niles to PSV. This is a tough decision. They're second from top. It's a good league. Uh, they they might be in Champions League position right now. All right, so this is a this is a tough decision. Um, judging by what what I said based on the other four players going with the same mentality and I've got to be honest with myself I think I have to accept this transfer because this will put Maitland Niles on a team that's top of their league in a pretty good league that's playing Champions League football right now and I think he being a former Premier League you know starter dropping down to the EFL he'd probably want to leave even if it's to a team like PSV because it's probably going to be a couple years before Arsenal are even close to Champions League football again. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to accept this offer, but uh, 12.5 million isn't enough for him. He's market value is between 14 and 20. So let's try to negotiate a better deal. 16 million for Maitland Niles. This this hurts me. I gotta be honest with you. I I, I did not want to do this by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I just gotta feel that he would want to go. I I think they're a big enough team to warrant that transfer. Again, if if I'm wrong, if you guys disagree with me, let me know in the comments, but I think that's that's as realistic as I can make it. Dude, that hurts. I, I just gotta hope he rejects it. <laughs> just to show you, since he's moved to center midfield, he leads my team in assists. He's got two goals and nine assists. His rating is an 8. Like, he's been amazing. And majority of that has come since he moved to midfield. And I think that's why a team like PSV came looking for him. All right. We've got to move on. He's still on the roster. So we're going to go ahead and play against Ipswich. It's another home game. Here we go. Here we are back at Emirates Stadium on another rainy day in London. 
we're on a seven game win streak which is oh sorry a seven game unbeaten streak which Hello, I mean again, it's Sider, nothing to complain about however we've given up a goal in every single one of those games so today, we're going to try and down. really work for the clean sheet this game no now for this team. and we're off it's an excellent cross. oh my god well, it away it's alright still early the scoring. One -nil here. six time goal Let's see if we can get that back. See what the right, here we go. Short corner. Niles. Finds Nketiah with the bicycle oh. kick. No! It hits somebody on the way in. That was a great bicycle kick. Dude didn't even realize it was coming at him. Can go in from here. Oh, of course. Look at that. Surely. The shot's hit the He's got a score. Could the bounces of the ball be any more in a straight line to their players? Honestly. It's like they're magnetically drawn to their foot. Look at this, that bounce. Look at that. It went like right to that dude. Off the post. Right to the next dude. Oh. <laughs> Niles. Very good skill. He's made the defender look a bit awkward there. Too far. I did not. I wanted to oh, Nketiah. No, Nketiah. He must have oh. he Jenkinson to to, re to Niles finds Bielik, who finds Saka, who skies it. Finds Nketiah. To Smith Rowe, who skies it. He looked to be he puts it across. And Ketier with a header. What a save. I finally got my head on a cross. And the goalkeeper makes an unbelievable save. Look at this. This was a nice header. To Ketier again. Okay. Okay. We're down 2 0. Not very happy. I've, ha I've had plenty of opportunities. I just haven't been able to put in the back of the net. Let's here. see if we can uh, we get ready for the second half. do something in the second half here. To Nketiah, who finds Niles. Emil Smith Rowe. Emil. What a terrible game. I'm so bummed out. If I have to be honest with you, I've stopped caring. The sooner this game is over, the better. Because this has just been unbelievably frustrating. Across. Of course, I can't reach it. Well, that sucked. I gotta be honest with you, that sucked. Just a bad game. Just a bad game. A uh, seven-game win streak comes to an end. I cursed it at the beginning of the game. Damn you. All right, that was a frustrating game, but we got to get over it because we got a transfer offer for Zach Medley. Zek, is it? It's spelled Zek, but is it? I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Zach Medley. But to a team, I have no idea who they are. I'm just going to outright reject it. It's not a step up to my, in my opinion. Like I said, he is on the fast track to replace... Plexula, I might actually do that soon. We're going to fast forward to the transfer window. I'm not partaking in it, but let's see if any of my players get requested. Okay, so a transfer offer for Carl Jenkinson to a team called Defensa e Justicia. If he's not going to West Brom, he's not going to that team. For me, Jenkinson is a starter and a captain. He's not going anywhere. He's not going to a team like that. That's, I mean, that's just... That's just the honest truth. Hey, nice little giant head over there. Forehead seems to have gone to Zurutuza for 4.85 million. <laughs> oh my god. Could this get any worse? So Maitland Niles got sold, which sucks. But now there's a transfer offer for Enketier. This is actually an easier uh, choice than you might think. Obviously, I'm rejecting this. We're talking about Arsenal. Sure, and they're in the championship. But Eddie Nketiah is starting every single game and leading the league in goals and is on the way to the Premier League as the starter. He ain't going anywhere. Let's be honest. He ain't going anywhere. Give me a better team or else that guy's not going. But Maitland-Niles is gone. And that hurts. 
Let's see what we got over here. Another offer for Enkete. You got to be kidding me. Real Madrid are coming for Eddie Enkete. You got to be kidding me. I, I have to accept this, don't I? I have to accept this. How can I not? It's Real Madrid. Like, I get he's starting for Arsenal, but if Real Madrid comes calling, any player is going to go. I, I'm going to have to negotiate this. I mean, 2.2 million is not enough. I, if, if they want him, come on. Real Madrid's pockets are deep. This is going to destroy my career mode, isn't it? I think he was worth between like 2 and 4 million. I think his value was like 3 to like 2.5 to 5, 4.5 or something like that. But it's Real Madrid. They got deep pockets. You want him? 6 million. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should have uh, offered a bit less. You're Real Madrid. You got deep pockets. I was a little bit aggressive, maybe, but at least negotiate. Come on. I probably did that in Ketia one too high, but... Hey, forehead on loan to Moore. Oh, no, sorry. Moore's the name. I'm such an idiot. Forehead on loan to whatever crest that is. That's two foreheads being transferred so far. <laughs> forehead to tiny head. Tiny head is going to... Looks like Bologna. Bologna? Is it Bologna? Yeah, Bologna. For 16.5. Gotta admit... Had a little bit of scare there when Real Madrid came knocking for Edin Ketia, but they weren't willing to pay the price. I, I, I must have put the price too high for them to not even negotiate it. But So there was an offer for Medley after the window. I'm not even going to. I'm just going to reject that. Okay, let's take a look at the scouting report. Here we go. Kirk Nicholson. He's 17 years old. Top potential of 94. Let's go ahead and sign him. All right, let's go to the English one. Jordan Collins. Top end potential 93 looks pretty good, pretty promising. 90,000, 93 potential. If it's over 90, I usually sign the guy. So let's just sign him, Jordan Collins. Let's see what what he offers, and we'll keep scouting that guy. No big deal. Not too bad. The Youth Academy scouting report wasn't too bad. I got two players out of it, both with a high potential of 93, 94. So not too bad so far. All right. So uh, our next game is up against Reading. Let's see if we can if we can turn things around. Okay, coming off a 3-0 loss, so we got to really take it to Reading. Here we go. Game's on. First game without Maitland and Niles, which sucks. <laughs> to Willick, who finds Eddie and Ketier, who cuts back and roofs it. <laughs> I, I want to punch something. That is the fourth shot in two games that I've kicked it over the net. You know what it is? It was it was on his left foot. That's probably why. And that's probably him protesting the fact that the Real Madrid transfer didn't go through. <laughs> that's his little shot at me for screwing up that transfer. Up to Inquietie. To Willick. Why can't the... Oh, what a bad pass. To Emil Smith row. That was sloppy, that was dirty, that was garbage. I gotta be honest with you. I have to, but <laughs> we got a lucky bounce going my way. I'm so used to lucky bounces going their way. That's almost exactly what I did uh, against Sheffield Wednesday, <laughs> where I cleared the ball out right to their defender. And to be fair, Emil Smith Rowe with a gorgeous shot. Gorgeous, just nice little whip. So Top bin. I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So it's Arsenal with so, the lead. for all my complaining. Baker. <laughs> that guy is a dang the guy. Going forward well. My bad. Well, the ref's gonna let play go on here. Start of the second half. Well, Let's see if we can half, put a bit more pressure us. on Ipswich. Oh, sorry, Reading. I'm still so obsessed over that Ipswich game. <laughs> Back to... Oh, I was going to Willick, but that worked out. Oh, cut back. What a goal. What a goal. To Joe Willick. To Eddie Nketiah. Redding making a move. Arsenal just trying to get into position again. Great steal by Bukaya Saka. Back to Mavropanos, who just clears it. We're not taking any risks here. Finds Reese Nelson wide open across Enketier to Nelik, who finds Emil Smith Rowe. 
Who buries it? I don't know what happened. Why was Reese Nelson so wide open? Great counterattack by Arsenal. We're not going to be denied that time. Bramble trying to get there. Can't. Quick header. Ooh. That was close. Uh, Gilmore. To Davies. To Gilmore. Oh. Gilmore with another great shot from outside. Little one-two between him and Davies. Oh, that was a great shot. Three nil victory. Good way to come back from a three nil loss, right? Joe Willick on his first start gets man of the match with a 9.5 rating. That's it for this episode of Arsenal FC's Road to Redemption series. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that we can keep this train going. This is Freestyle signing off. Peace.